Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying our Spark interview question series. So we have covered different uh, questions in this Spark interview series. Uh, I hope you know you have found them useful during your interview preparation. Please share it with your friends also. Please subscribe to our channel also. Let us start with today's interview question. Today's interview question is uh, what is accumulator in Spark? So it's a very important concept. So uh, usually, even though it's a very simple topic, I have seen people getting confused about this topic during interviews. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use very simplified definition and very simple language to explain it. So if you still find it difficult to understand, please post your comments in comment section. I'll help you understand it in, in a better way. So uh, let us start with the answer. So accumulator are the variables which are used to aggregate information from executors. So you know if there are multiple executors that are running uh, and we want to as every aggregator is giving some information that he has processed this many record and uh, you know all that kind of information it is giving and we want to aggregate that information in our driver and we want to show as a job stats that these many bytes processed this much of uh, records were corrupt this much records were fine so for those kind of things we use accumulator so accumulator are normally not used to uh, not used to uh, show your business logic to process your business logic they are normally used normally they are used for uh, showing the stats about the job like uh, let me take an example and explain it uh, imagine a situation where you have written a spark job to process huge amount of logs so to uh, if there could be many rows in the input file uh, some rows will be processed very easily and some rows may have corrupted data so while processing those logs if you want to just keep track of that how many rows how many records were corrupt then you can use accumulator in that scenario so accumulator operation um, accumulator variable that you normally use are associative and commutative so that this can be calculated at the end so because if there is a failure of uh, executor uh, in between the accumulator results can be wrong so to factor out those things uh, these results th these uh, uh, inputs from different executors are aggregated and consolidated at the end of the job so actual result of accumulator is received at the end of the job executors can just write it executors are not supposed to read the accumulator value so driver is the one who is supposed to read the accumulator value at the end of the job so let me show you one example of this let me clear the results first cool so here i have taken some example data set i have created nine lines and out of those nine lines three lines have error word in it now i have created a accumulator named error count it's a long accumulator this is how we create a accumulator so I can just go through our RDD using for each function and then I can check if that RDD if that row that I'm processing in that RDD contains error word if it contains I am just increasing the count of our accumulator cool our accumulator is processed and then in the driver function I can just print the value of that counter so you can see it is 3 so uh, here you can see there was a typo so but still since I was using contains function here uh, it has this string has error uh, word in it so second is this one and third is this one so you can see this is how accumulator works this was a very simple uh, explanation about accumulators uh, there could be situations where you want to create complex accumulators 
using complex objects you want to create an object and you want to update that class object uh, you know while uh, you are generating some information as part of your uh, uh, executor code so in that situation you can use accumulator v2 apis uh, i'll create a separate video to explain accumulator v2 apis in which you can create custom accumulators thank you for watching my video uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please put it in your com put it in our comment section and please subscribe our channel and share the video with your friends thank you for watching the video